Now to start with, just like my last video on the QBE insurance box, I do not get any uh, kickbacks from QBE for this. I don't get anything from them. I just happen to be a customer that's signed up to the service and just thought I would share my experience about it. A little while back, I got the um, QBE insurance box for our car, which diagnoses your car and through that you're driving and it reports that back to the insurer. So basically it gives the insurer an idea of how you drive, how safe you are, and that sort of thing. It also gives you an idea of what kind of roads you drive on, how frequently you drive, what times of day you drive, whether you're a late night driver, that sort of thing. So as, as a result, the idea is the safer a driver that you are, the cheaper your premiums should become. Now I've just received a letter in the mail from QBE. It's about six months since I installed the insurance box. And this letter you can see here on the screen, it basically says that uh, I've got a drive score of 4.1, which makes me a very safe driver. I'm in the top 10% apparently of drivers. And they're giving me the option to lock in my drive score for my future premiums for the entire life of my policy. So they've given me a, a refund on what I paid at the start of the year for the annual uh, premium and giving me the option to lock that in. They've also included this little sticker which is meant to go on the back of the car that says proof I'm a better driver. And it also includes a little reply paid envelope and asks me to send back my insurance box and that I no longer need to have it in my car recording my driving. Which is kind of nice because I have to admit when it is in there you do feel a little bit like Big Brother is watching everything you do. I mean it tracks what roads you drive on so it knows what the speed limit is, tracks what speed you're doing, uh, tracks how hard you're braking, it tracks how hard you're accelerating. So it, it really does feel a little bit like someone's looking over your shoulder. But at the same time, being aware of that and conscious of that, I have to say it definitely does make you think twice about your driving and what you're doing. Uh, you definitely watch your speed a bit more. And I would say I'm definitely a lot more cautious with, with how hard I accelerate. Uh, and, and also braking earlier. And I'd say it has definitely made me a better driver as a result of that. I, I think uh, my driving was already quite good. Uh, when I first started, the initial drive score ratings it gave me after the first few days were high, high threes and low fours anyway. So it's kind of, it's averaged that out, but watching my drive score over the six months and how it's changed, I have seen that overall it's become much more consistently at that higher end. Uh, and I actually see, for the most part, the days that I drive now, it's sitting more around the 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, that sort of thing. So I do have to wonder if them offering me to lock it in now is in part so that I don't go and do better and, uh, and reduce the premiums. But at the same time, I kind of feel like perhaps it's a little bit of a benefit of the doubt on their part as well, that they're going to give me the trust that I will continue to drive safely. I'll continue to drive as I have been, braking earlier, accelerating uh, slower, and um, generally sticking to the speed limit quite closely. So I suppose it, it goes both ways. I can I can uh, choose to trust them and they can choose to trust me. And either way, it's reduced the premium quite substantially from what was already the cheapest comprehensive car insurance that I could find when we signed up six months ago. So overall, that makes it a really, really good deal. And I have to say, I'd highly recommend it. The only thing is, we drove in the Northern Territory for a, on a couple of days and the roads were 130 kilometer per hour roads. Now, the insurance box dashboard only registers up to 110 kilometers per hour. Now, I did raise this with them and ask them, 
if that meant these roads that we were driving on doing 130, if that was classified as speeding. The only response I got was that they used the speed limit data of the roads uh, based on what the governments provide. Now, that's fine, but that doesn't really answer my question. Because the dashboard does not recognize that I was driving on a 130 km hour road, does it mean that the insurance box believes I was speeding, doing 130, or is it okay? It, there's, they just didn't answer that question. So it's just something to be aware of uh, if you are on roads like that. And as far as I'm aware, there aren't many of them in Australia. Most of them are in remote parts like the Northern Territory. So just something to be conscious of. But overall, no, I found it a great experience. Uh, I think it has, like I said, made me a safer driver. And I would definitely recommend it for anyone looking to find a cheaper comprehensive car insurance. Uh, be aware though that your car does have to be new enough to have an OBD diagnostic port on it to plug the box into. Now most new cars do, I think post 1995-ish they've got it, uh, but it doesn't hurt to check first anyway to make sure. Their website does have a helpful little thing on it to um, check your car model to see if it does have one. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you've liked it please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to see more like this from me.